No, I just had some crazy batshit type dream. That come about from lack of sleep and then sleeping a lot, but let me tell you the fucking gist, shall we? So it starts out, I'm in like Santa Monica or some fucking weird ass. Some weird ass beachfront type of neighborhood. And it's kind of ghetto. And there's some weird ass competition going on where it takes like these super smart kids and it pits them against these ruthless, ruthless killers just to see who can come out on top or whatever. But I meet this kid, right? And he takes us into this party and we're having a good time. And then he goes, yeah, I gotta go do this competition. And so this is like the daytime, right? So it's just like, so yeah, I go, fuck yeah, I'll go with you. And I go out with him. But the competition isn't like they get into an arena. It's like a fucking the killer will come whenever he fucking wants. So the first killer for this guy was this dude in this humongous fucking shit. I just barely woke up. As you can see, it's fleeting. Um, this dude in this humongous fucking semi trailer. He's fuck ah. It's like it's weird. It's like smarts, but like this kid has like his crazy psychic powers, and he fucking does all this crazy shit, and he's jumping around, and he's fucking. But he ends up killing this guy, like outsmarting him, like fucking MacGyver. Plus, he's got like some Magneto type X Man shit going on. So I also have to take a piss. So. uh... So after he kills that guy, that's like the first round, and on our way back to the party, it's like maybe four in the afternoon now, this other guy comes out, I don't remember what he was doing, but it was a fucking epic battle, and the kid won, and then we show up at the party, and we're just talking and having a good time, and I remember this guy had this fucking reflective, this weird silver reflective pyramid, and it had like rain, it had like the fucking light hitting it, and it had a prism, and I was like, oh yeah, Pink Floyd. And as soon as I said that, I looked over, and that kid that was my friend, he fucking was walking, and he stepped onto this fucking piece of like. in a room. And he fell through, and I was like, oh shit. And everyone else was just, they didn't give a shit. And I'm like, oh fuck. And I, I looked down, and the hole goes through this house through the basement, through another fucking room, and into the goddamn ocean somehow. So I can see the waves crashing out. So I'm just gonna, oh fuck dude, this kid just fucking fell. And they're all, yeah, it happens. Cover the hole up. So they covered the hole back up better. And I go down to the basement, and I'm looking down, and I can't see anything, so... I'm like, fuck dude, this sucks. I gotta go down to the downstairs neighbors and tell them. See if I can look around in the house. He's all, oh, I don't know, man. Do you, can you cook up a cookie? And I was all, what? And they're all, those guys are crackheads. If you don't take crack down there, they'll fucking kill you. I was all, fuck, because I didn't have any baking soda. So, I was pretty bummed out. And my brother Corey shows up, and he's all, yeah, we got to go. I got to get to work tomorrow, and it's fucking late. We got to go. Oh, so fuck, dude. And I was walking through this backyard when those crackhead comes up. Because Corey's car is parked in the backyard. This crackhead comes up and he's all, you can't walk through here. And I was all, but my brother's car's right over there. We're just going to leave. And he's all, you can't walk through here. Walk around the front and then walk them. And I was all, fine, what the fuck ever. I got to grab my shoes anyways because my shoes were at the front of the house because you're not supposed to wear them into the house. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I hope someone didn't steal my fucking chucks. So I started running towards the fucking front of the house and then, well, like an apartment-type complex. And then the fucking alarm went off. But it was a badass dream. Yo.